Good morning children. Welcome to science class. Today, we are going to learn about topic insects and us. Useful insects. Insects are useful to us in many ways. Few of the useful insects are bees, honey bees, dragonfly, lace wings, silk moth, dung beetles, butterfly and ladybugs. Lace wings, eggs of lace wings, are used in gardens and fields to check and kill pests. Silk moth, these insects, eat mulberry leaves, they produce silk from their saliva. The natural silk we use are obtained from cocoon of silk moth. Honey bees, they suck nectar from flowers and make honey from it and store in their hive, thus we get honey from honey bees. Dragonfly. They help in eating mosquitoes and help preventing the diseases caused due to mosquitoes. Fung beetles. They feed on animals' wastes and thus clean the place. Ladybugs. Ladybugs eat insects that damage crops. Insects that carry pollen. Butterflies and bees sit on the flowers to suck nectar and also carry pollens from one flower to another. This helps in forming seeds in plants. This is why insects like butterflies, bees are called pollinators. Harmful insects. While some insects are useful, some can cause harm to the food we eat and to our home. They can also sting, bite, suck blood and cause diseases. Some ways in which insects can harm us are Certain insects like termites feed on the wooden furniture such as cupboards, chairs, table and other wooden things. Insects like mosquitoes bite and suck blood. Thus they spread diseases such as malaria, chikungunya, dengue. Houseflies sit on garbage, dirt and feces when they sit on the food they pass the germs into the food. Eating such food causes diseases. Bed bugs are blood sucking insects. Found the gaps of bed and mattresses, they feed on human blood and are harmful. Cockroaches are found in corners of kitchen and around food items. They carry bacteria and infect food items that cause diseases. Lice and tiny blood sucking insects found in hair. They spend their entire life on human scalp and feed on human blood. They cause itching and infection. Thank you. A presentation by Naseem D.S.